Hello my lovely zombie horde and welcome back to another video. But before I begin, I just want to let you know that yes, I am fully aware that I look like a burglar from the Sims universe. And I don't care. I like this t-shirt. It's one of my favourite t-shirts to wear. It's super comfy and I enjoy wearing it. So I will continue wearing it no matter how many people ask me where my swag bag is. It's here. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing something a little bit different, I guess, in a way, but if you know me, not really. I am a huge fan of horror stuff, but I am also- I did a little whistle there. I am also a very big fan of true crime and crime games. I always loved playing like L.A. Noire, and I also had a CSI game on my DS at one point. That was a lot of fun. And I was very kindly sent a game called Rough Justice 84, which is basically a crime-solving game set in the 80s. It's kind of like a board game, so it's a little bit different, but it's also something that I really enjoy sort of doing. I really enjoy solving true crime and all that sort of stuff. I get the little uh, murder mystery packs. I get those sent to my door and they're really fun. So yeah, let's give this a go and hopefully we can solve some mysteries. 80s style. I remember like it was yesterday. We came up together. Jim was a rising star. He took me along for the ride. Corruption in the department was an open secret. No way Jim was going to let it slide. Jim kept me on the straight and narrow. They can say what they want, but it was a setup. Simple as that. The honorable cop in Seneca? Jim never stood a chance. Prison couldn't have been easy, even for someone like Jim. Today marks the day as Seneca City's murder capital of the U.S. I hereby declare that as of today, the Seneca Enforcement Act is in effect. As your new DA, I can promise you this. We will turn the tide. In an unlikely turn of events, former Super Cup Jim Baylor has been exonerated. It's good to see you, Jim. Sorry for the less than frequent visits. People talk, you know? Can't give them the excuse. I should have left after what went down, but life on the force is behind me. Independent now, just like I always talked about. <laughs> Pension be damned. Don't sweat it, Hank. Putting yourself on the line for me wouldn't have changed a thing. Thanks, buddy. Means a lot. Like I was saying, I'm done with the Force. Have been for a while. Soon as they pass the SEA, every clown, ex-cop, ex-fed, ex-whatever, was lining up to start their own agency. It was a real feeding frenzy, I'm telling you. SEA? What's that? Seneca Enforcement Act. Crime rate got out of control after you went down. Of course it did, because I'm awesome. So much so, they straight up torched the red tape on private agency regulations. SCPD can't handle it. Or won't. So now it's on the agencies to pick up the slack. Work to go around like you wouldn't believe, and carte blanche to lay down the law. Bounties, recovery, security contracts, you name it. With the authority to bring in perps, asset recovery, access to warrants. <laughs> it's wild, Jim. City's going to hell. But all that work? I had to take advantage. But you know as well as anyone, I ain't exactly the calm and rational type. Never been much of a diplomat, either. Who'd you rub the wrong way, Hank? Some of the types I had to deal with on agency biz really uh, bent me out of shape. I maybe torched a few bridges. I've known you long enough to know this isn't idle chit-chat. What's the pitch? You got me. I need you, Jim. I need you too, Hank. I just got out, Hank. Can't you clean up your own mess? Come on, buddy. I wouldn't be asking, but... You've always had my back. Been that way from high school right through to the force. We bring out the best in each other. <sighs> okay, Hank. I'll help you out, but what exactly is the issue here? I knew you'd come through. Uh, like I said, bridges burned, yada yada yada. Long and short of it is, some big jobs fell through, and I'm short on rent for the office this month. How short are we talking, Hank? Short, but it doesn't matter. I've got a thing or two lined up. When they hear Jim Baylor's calling the shots, <laughs> they'll eat it up. Calling the shots? Your name's clean now. 
Client don't like me, but with your face on the agency, that changes things. You pull off a few jobs that restores trust, you know. This is a one-time thing, Hank. For old time's sake, and sticking your neck out during the trial. Penny and Larry keep the lights on. They deserve better, but don't tell them that. The place would fall apart without their support. Anyone who can put up with your nonsense is a special kind of person, Hank. True though that may be, who can say no to this face? Apparently not me. Anyways, this is the agency. Not much to look at, I know, but like I said, it's a fixer-upper. Oh, these are your currently available funds. First, you need to hire an agent. Click plus to access the aid. Ah, okay. So I'm running it. He did say, oh, yeah, I'm calling the shot. So I guess I'm the big boss and I've got to assign agents to the case. Interesting. Okay. You're hired. There we go. I'm on my way. You can pause, continue, or fast forward anytime. Time is automatically paused when a panel is open. There she goes. She's on her way. Look at her go. Look at her go. I'm bored. <laughs> Tensions are running high at the film studio and Agent Sanchez is feeling the pressure. The general consensus is that another arson attempt is imminent. 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 The best way to stop an arsonist is surely to prevent them from getting onto the premises with their fire making kit. Watch security tapes. Sift through old security footage for clues. Empathy. Man the security station and search for dangerous incoming items. Perception. Ooh. We'll do this. Oh, the dice roll mechanic. The dice roll mechanic for security cases is referred to as four and up. This means that a four, five, or six is required for success. Oh, so it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, I think. This is going to be hard if it's just based on luck. Oh my god. Oh, I got a four. There we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Not all slots are filled. Are you sure what's it? What? How am I supposed to fill it? I haven't got anything left. Failed. Yep. I. Yep, thanks. Cool. <laughs> Good job, Charlie. You've probably heard about the rash of bank rob robberies lately. <gasps> it wasn't me! <laughs> we need an agent to go undercover. Oh, crap. And deal with any potential altercations as things might get hairy. Send an agent with a sharp eye or perhaps a keen fist. After a few uneventful hours at the bank, Agent Sanchez checks in. They've noticed a bank teller who's taken an inordinate number of trips to the bathroom. They suspect he's, he's palming banknotes. Sanchez thinks the direct poach will be will work on the teller, though not if they've merely got a bladder infection. That's not fun. Observe the teller and don't do anything rash. The law needs to be upheld and you'll be damned if you're gonna turn a blind eye. Oh, sure, we'll confront them. Yes, look at that. The assistant bank manager Terence Orman is delighted to report that not only did Agent Shan said Sanchez calmly fulfill their contractual duties, but they also apprehended a teller that was palming money. Yes! The teller denied it and tried to run, but your agents were on him like hands on banknotes. The stolen bank the stolen cash has been returned and the teller is out on the on their ear. Good riddance were the managers of parting words. Let's get our reward. Nice. Nice. Contract done. Contract done. Uh come on then, Dick. You're hired. So using the arrows on the monitor, match the shoe based off of the print. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, like this. Okay, so that one's not too bad. That one's pretty easy. Why can't they all be like that? <laughs> Polygraph will ask, are there peanuts in peanut butter? The answer would be yes. You would then invert this to no. Oh, answer incorrectly to beat the machine. Okay, right. So basically, I just need to lie. <laughs> Say, are fruits and vegetables healthy to eat? No. Do humans have tongues? No. Is fire cold? Yes. Can you use a shovel at the beach? No, definitely not. Does a square have curves? 100%. Can a Komodo dragon breathe fire? Oh, yes. Can you ride a camel? Definitely not. Can a fish live out of water? Of course they can. Should you use paint and syrup to take a bath in? I do all the time. Is an egg oval? No. Square. Are you? Are all cars red? I mean, they're ones that I see, definitely. Yay! Good job, Dick. Okay, so we got one to one. Wrong connection. I don't know what you mean. Oh, okay. Three, three. So, three. And then two. What? Oh, three to three, two to five. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Two to 
five. And then we got five to four. There. And then we got one to two. There. And then we got four to one, four to one, four to one. There. Woo! There we go. Nice. So I'm going to leave that there for Rough Justice 84. I actually really enjoyed it. I think if I, like, that's a nice one that I think is a nice casual one that you could just kind of sit there and just kind of play through in your own, like, spare time. So that's something I think I'm going to definitely carry on playing because it definitely gets your brain working and it's a nice one to just kind of relax. It's just a chilled game. Even though you're solving crimes, it's, it's quite chilled with the rolling of the dices and stuff. I think that's the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's, like, kind of left up to luck with some aspects where it's, like, you have to roll a dice to see if you can if your move is going to be successful. I think that's probably why I never really got into like D&D because &D, it's just like, I want to be able to use my skills to be successful. I don't want to leave it up to luck, but I know that it is technically a board game. So that's that's just par and parcel of what that is as a game. But I really enjoyed it. I think it was fun. I like the characters. I like the 80s setup to it. And um, it's fun being able to sort of do the little mini games as well. I really actually quite enjoyed doing the little mini games. That was a lot. That was probably the funnest funnest most fun part um for me is doing the little mini games but again i think that's just because i didn't have to roll a dice so thank you so much to gamma minus for sending this over to me i really enjoyed playing this game it was fun it was different for me but i managed to be able to solve some crimes and some cases along the way and i had a lot of fun it was uh, completely different to what i would normally play and i really enjoyed it it's nice to try something new every now and again and kind of come out of your comfort zone and i really enjoy sort of like true crime and solving mysteries and all that sort of stuff and anything that's set in the 80s as well is just an added bonus because i just I love the whole 80s feel. It's just, it's such a fun little, like, it was such a fun, colourful era and yeah, I loved it. So thank you so much to Gamma Minus for sending that over. I really enjoyed it. And if you want to, you can find this game on Steam. So head on over there, add it to your wish list, give it a go and see if you can solve as many crimes as possible. You can check out all bunch of my other stuff on Twitch. I do streams as much as I can. At the moment, it's been a little bit difficult, but I will be letting you guys know whenever I stream on my Instagram and on my Twitter. So make sure you go follow those as well. I also do a whole bunch of stuff on Patreon if you want to have a look at my cosplays and content over there. But there is a link tree down below which has pretty much everything over there. So if you want to see what sort of stuff I have, what sort of socials I have, everything is in that link. So check it out and hopefully I will see you on a different platform. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll bid thee farewell and I'm going to go rob a bank. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>